All right, how's it doing? What's it going? Welcome back to Mildly Interesting, brought to you by our sponsor, of course, my Instagram page, at Jordan Marin. Link is always in the description. Here's the thing. My followers on Instagram, they usually trend downwards, and maybe that's because my content sucks. It's very possible, but maybe you watching this right now, maybe you'll find it compelling and you'll want to check it out and follow. So link in the description. Also, I mean, being the weekly sponsor, they paid like a million dollars for the slot, so please help make it worth their while. All right, let's start off with uh, number 19. My math teacher has a stamp of his face that he uses on people's tests if they do well. My face when 100%. Nice. What did he originally write? He's like, a failure. Oh, wait, I graded it incorrect. Nice. You got it right, dude. Congratulations. Does he also have a frowny stamp that he stamps on people's desks when they fail? This tabby cat's tail end is orange colored. Hmm. That's very interesting. It's like those ball pythons that they do fancy genetic mutations on and stuff like that. So like the middle of the body will be perfectly albino and then it'll go into patterns on the end and stuff like that the cat also seems super not amused at you taking the photo of it it's like do i have to do this again like at least 20 people a day stop me and ask for a photo who do you think i am brad pitt george clooney i mean come on dude half of this hallway is under construction it wait is it or is it i can't t was that the hallway what I mean this could just be the hallway here though couldn't it and then this could just be a door into another facility or is that actually the hall I guess this could be a school right these are lockers and then these will they end up being I can't tell I can't tell if this is just an entrance into kind of another area or if it just looks like because the exit sign is there it should kind of be centered and this wall is too far in but this really from the get-go was like the hallway or if this is a temporary wall I'm not really sure I can't tell here if this is mildly interesting or it's just how it was designed and someone's like, oh, this photo lines up kind of cool. Bet I could trick people into thinking that this is a temporary wall and it's all the hallway. This dishwasher projects a timer onto the floor. I feel like dishwashers, or at least mine, they really lack user communication. All mine has is like normal pots and pans, quick or something, they're just buttons on the very top of the door that you can only see when you open the door and then a start stop button, that's it. And I'm like, could you, I don't know, put a screen on here. I don't know what's happening. And my dishwasher has occasionally failed on me. And I'm like, what happened? Why did it do that? It'll be beeping. And I'm like, I don't know what these beeps are. I don't speak dishwasher. I know you're trying to go for that minimal cabinet blending approach, but screens would be kind of cool. Color gradient moss. That's very, very oddly satisfying. It's the seasons all in one from spring to summer to autumn. We got like a little just fading over here to is this legit, dude. Because there could just be someone who's like, let me pour some orange dye onto this moss here growing between the bricks. And and then somebody will come along and think it's natural and cool and then take a photo and put it on either imager or their Instagram and get a lot of likes. No plug whatsoever there. My kid's jacket has multiple namespaces to facilitate hand-me-downs. Hand-me-down trail. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a cute idea. I like how they do it in hiking theme. Very true to branding. Wonder how many stages of approval that had to go through. Like, if we're gonna do hand-me-downs on the thing, it's gotta be according to our hiking mantra, we have a hiking history, and we must share that with the hand-me-downs. Picturing like a relay race that just takes years at a time for each leg of passing. I've never actually had hand-me-downs. Never done the whole hand-me-down thing. I guess it's really probably more of a sibling kind of situation rather than a parent to kid. So, yeah, I missed out on that whole thing. An insect got stuck between the printer and the pillowcase. <laughs> I was like, the printer and the pillowcase? Who keeps their printer on top of a pillow? <laughs> I, was, I was so, I was wondering what the hell was going on. Whenever you put your laptop like on your bed covers, it always start, the fans are like, whoa, 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 we need some extra cooling here. And it just like soups them up. Anyway, okay, I see. When the, During the printing process, this fly was immortalized into the pillow. It looks kind of like, a mosquito eater, like that's kind of an absolute unit. 
of a fly, isn't it? <laughs> Said the top comment. Somewhere there's an insect flying around with a plaid design on his back. I don't think they made it. Caught my crow buddy mid blink, making her look very sinister. Oh god, that's weird. The eyelids are like, yeah. Also, your crow buddy, huh? Do you, do you have a crow buddy? Although I do know crows are apparently one of the only animal species that have the ability to speak to each other and it's like still kind of mysterious how they do it. I don't think it's fully understood. But if there is a, a person who looks a particular way who say like terrorizes a crow within their group of co, co crows, crow buddies, then if that person again goes by like those crows, they will react to that person. The other ones who were not initially terrorized by the, the, the person, they will know though in the future that that is a person to look out for. So they are somehow able to communicate attributes of like people or, or things to each other. And it's kind of fascinating. Anyway, they're, they're smart things. And also freaking dinosaur claws right there, dude. These tumbleweeds that piled up in front of my brother's house. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, wow, that looks annoying. I'm not gonna lie. I remember the first time I saw a tumbleweed, like, and, and I realized that wow, that actually does exist. That's not a thing that was just embellished for cartoons. You actually can get massive things blowing across the road that you really don't want to hit if you don't want to do damage to your car. I I can't imagine being targeted that hard though. It was pesky neighborhood kids, dude. They must have just gone and assembled some tumbleweeds, knew that the wind was blowing right in that direction, just tossed them in front. And there you are. The way my plate broke in almost even pieces. Well, I hope you didn't cut your finger there. Um, you, <laughs> like, I feel like, I feel like for the most part, people would just, I don't know, take them and throw them in the trash, but you're like, no, 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 I gotta stack them properly and then take a photo. But it looks like that's relatively blood free, so that's good. My girlfriend and similar looking horse. Okay, at least it's the reverse angle. <laughs> Cause I was <laughs> just thinking to myself, like this is a this is a real surefire way to get somebody angry at you if she was facing the camera. <laughs> it's just like close up of her face. Also a horse. They look very similar. <laughs> Be like, ooh. All right, I don't know how much longer this relationship is gonna last. Okay, she just happened to be wearing a uh, a color-coordinated coat to go along with the horse. That would actually be great camouflage. Um, if she ever needed to escape from something, just kind of hug the horse and then just ensure that the jacket is kind of lined up with, with where the body is and then where the mane on the horse starts is just where the, hair, the head goes down and then perfect camouflage, dude. It'd be a perfect way to escape from the Nilfgaard attack. I tried to make a reference there and I'm not sure if it worked. My alcohol looks like cleaner and my cleaner looks like alcohol. Is this the adult version of the cleaning products that look like fruit punch? <laughs> and I still don't understand how they can be for sale. My cleaning lady! She uses that stuff, and I look at it, and I'm like, I want to take a sip of it. I guess this is just the, um, the harder version of it. I feel like you'd recognize pretty quickly that body wash, not really something to drink because of the texture, but anyway, that really is interesting packaging. Chairs at my new job have rollerblade wheels so we can roll quietly. I like this. <laughs> I like this quite a bit, actually. I kind of want this. My chair's loud. You hear that? It's not that loud, but also that would damage the floor a lot less, I feel like. These are the hard plastic casters that just, I have the plastic thing on the ground to protect the floor. And if you had rollerblade wheels, it wouldn't be nearly as big of an issue. And obviously they're straight onto the floor here. So it's a good call. My mom painted this outlet to match the rocks. It's actually a pretty impressive paint job right there. Like, what outlet? I can't see anything. I I hope that, is that a bathtub right there? <laughs> it seems awfully close for comfort for an outlet to be next to a bathtub like that. Um, I suppose it's okay if it's the sink, although, I don't know. What's a 
were splashing hazard the the bath or the sink that's a good job though that really worked I, someone's gonna ask where the outlet is like is there anywhere I can plug in an electric toothbrush to charge or want to charge my phone in the bathtub it's gonna be like oh it's in the upper right hand corner right behind the sink no don't don't see it can you come point it out oh good job impressive my airplane bathroom had a window in it obviously quite a privacy violation here it's not even frosted okay I guess you could pull down the privacy shade but can you imagine Another plane just going, flying by right next to you, just seeing you tinkle into the toilet. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. Such a violation. I don't want people seeing that. They don't want to see it either. They're going to look over and be like, there's that guy peeing in the airplane again. This is like closets and apartments that have gigantic windows in them. <laughs> the fog during my flight makes Illinois seem like it hasn't rendered. It really does, actually. That's impressive. I like how your wing says howdy. I don't think I've flown that airline before. I don't want to fly out of the air. That sounds very, very welcoming. You're, they're glad to have you. Bro, this reminds me of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. It applies to obviously so many games and stuff, but specifically it makes me think of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater when I would glitch out of the map. I'd just be like on the bottom half of the screen, just like way outside, and it would look like this on the ground because it was supposed to mimic like a distant city, but when you got up close, it's just like this awful texture. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater glitches. There we go. And the top, for the last month of Mildly Interesting, we got these giant screws in at work today for mounting solar panels. That'd be a great way to, like, trick someone into thinking they've been miniaturized for a second. You know those, uh, th there are places you can go that have, like, a, a gigantic room with gigantic furniture? They should have one of these laying on the ground of that room. It'd be like, wait, wait, is this real? Try to pick it up. It'd be like, oh my God, this is actually like a hundred pounds. <laughs> God, that's a, what kind of solar panels are these? I see the solar panels that people have on the roof. They definitely don't need like a five foot tall, hundred pound screw in order to mount them. I don't know what kind of solar, are these, you mean like a, a wind turbine? Do you screw the wind turbine into the ground? <laughs> The instructions are like, prop up 100 foot tall wind turbine, hold there, screw into ground with large screws. <laughs> Hope wind does not come while you're screwing it in. Once screws are tightened, you are good. Easy installation. Okay, that's it for the last month of Mildly Interesting. I hope you've been mildly interested. Make sure to like if you like. Check out the playlist if you want to catch more Mildly Interesting. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And of course, feel free to follow our sponsor. The Jordan Marin Instagram. Link in the description. Cool. See you next time.